the NPP is stiff with the BJP continues in the state with state party president W.R. Khaluki stating that it's not necessary that the BJP has to be a part of the government. Well, he was reacting to a remark by Union Law Minister Kiran Rijuju that no government can be formed without the Bharti Janta Party. Yes. Uh, Kiran Rijuju has said that uh, government in Meghalaya cannot be formed without the approval of BJP. What's your take on that? I, I don't know from what constitution, but according to the constitution of India, the, go the governor is bound to call a party to get an absolute majority. So I don't know on what constitution that Kiran Rijuju, well, he's a law minister, he know better. Because according to me, the constitution is very clear that whoever gets a majority, the governor is bound to call that party to form the government. So I don't know from which constitution that only with the BJP you can form the government. Suppose they get zero. So government cannot be formed. Well, Kaluki also spoke on the speculations of MLA's shifting parties ahead of the polls. The AITC has also accused the NPP of indulging into poaching activities of their MLAs. You see AITC 2018. Is there any AITC in Meghalaya? They came to the political scene of Mekhalia, like what I said earlier, through the political backdoor. They are yet to be tested. When they allow themselves to be poached from Congress to AITC, who will not go and poaching them? As my knowledge, they are not that, not that strong as much as they projected themselves. Well, speaking on the separate garol and demand, the Rajya Sabha MP say that it's time for unity and not divide and rule as projected by some. PDP has also extended support to the cause. Uh, what is your take, sir? You see, my take on this is NPP is not built on dividing the people. NPP is built with this one mission, that is to unite whole of Northeast under one political party and when we go to Delhi with at least 15, 16 MPs, we demand, we don't beg. This issue has been for so long. Our leader P.A. Sangma was never for it and the people of Garo always supported him. People don't want, you see, we are small tribes in the Northeast, the Nagas, the Misos, the Garos, the Hajongs, everywhere. So if we keep on dividing ourselves, then where will it lead us? 